Hello and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about our experience with Volume 3 Botany, The Sassafras Science Adventures. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around! <laughs> All right, so before I get started, I do want to let you know that this was sent to us by Elemental Science for our honest review. We originally bought volume one, Zoology, absolutely loved it, and then they reached out and asked if we would like to use volume two, and now we have used volume three. And I just wanted to do a video on this, kind of showing you how we use it and how that has changed throughout the year, to be honest. Now, the Sassafras Science Adventures follows two twins, which is Blaine and Tracy Sassafras, and they originally were flunking out of science. They were not doing well in school, so they're on their summer break, and they have been sent to their Uncle Cecil's house, and, and that all happens in Volume 1, where they have been sent to his house, and he has created this awesome zip line invention which allows them to pretty much instantaneously go to a new location and do science studies. Well volume three the they're still on their summer vacation and they are absolutely loving science and are no longer think it's a boring subject and they're no longer going to be flunking their classes due to the amount that they have learned. Now, as I mentioned before, Volume 1 is Zoology, Volume 2 is Anatomy, and Volume 3 is Botany. Volume 3, we're continuing to build on the storyline that is going, and we have mostly used this as a read aloud. We have, let's see, two chapters left in this, but we have used it differently throughout the entire year, and that's okay. We use it as it works for us, but... The majority of the time it was used as simply a read aloud. This is a great little thing just to read of an evening, which is what we do most of the time. Each chapter is broken up into two sections. So chapter one, the basics of botany, we have memories on the horse swing. So this would be section one. And then we would come up here to section two, next up. And so usually these would both be done at different times. Now, since we use it as just a read aloud a lot, we might finish a whole chapter in one day. But if you were using this as the curriculum intended, you would not be doing that. You would read one section, you would do some of the logbook section, you would go to the second section, do the logbook. She really, really enjoys the read aloud option. She loves the story. She likes to listen to it. She's not super duper crazy about doing the log book. All right, so this is the teacher's book. And I have a little comparison of the two curriculums that we have from Elemental Science. So if you wanna see a further into this, I'll put that video right there. But this is the teacher's guide and each chapter is broken into either a two-day schedule or a five-day schedule. It tells you the reading, it tells you the activities to use. It has vocabulary and different um, activity sheets that you could do all within this. Some memorization, the whole thing, it's all in this. You wouldn't even really have to have this because you could just create your own book using the information that is in here. Now, as I said, we used this periodically. A lot of times, like I would just say, well, why don't you color while I read? And so we might have her do a section back here where she's coloring while I'm reading. I did have her look up some of the vocabulary for a while, but as you can see, overall, she just didn't get into the book very much. Um, every once in a while you'll see where we did some things, but most of the time she just wanted to listen and not have to do much else with it. So as much as I like the concept and I like the idea of doing the log book, I just can't seem to get her back on it. She loved it for zoology, but she just has not really cared for it since then. But she does absolutely love the read aloud. She really, really likes this. And so a lot of times what I would do is I would read this and then sometimes I would just ask some of the questions to see, did she pull anything out of this? Did she understand it? So what I would do most of the time is 80% of the time, we probably use this as a read aloud of nine. 
as a read aloud during the night. She loves to listen to this before she goes to bed. And so normally that is what we would do. Other times we would read it during the day and then I would have her kind of tell it back to me, a little dictation, um, just see if she could hit some of the high points. Um, overall, she loves this, the read aloud, but I don't know that we would be using this anymore just because she's just not into it. I can't get her to get into it. And so at least it's a informative read aloud. We can read it of a night and maybe she's soaking some things in because I know there was a time we were talking about uh, pine cones in this and it was even really late. We were reading it and a few days later, she said something and pointed out something that we had read in this. So I know that she's getting information from it. We just don't have it on book that we're getting any of that information. And that is okay, honestly. That is fine. We have different things that we've done throughout the year for science. So for her, this is the best fit for her is to just use it as a read aloud and for me not to try to tie these in anymore at this point. Now, later on, maybe she will get back into this, but right now that is just not her jam. She's not up for this. So we would just continue the read aloud and I know she's going to be getting some information out of this. Now, one thing that I will likely do for next year is assign this as independent reading. So it doesn't have to necessarily be done as a read aloud, depending on the age of your student and the level of their reading. So for her, this is something that she should easily be able to read next year. It will go much slower, of course, but that is fine. And I think that's a great way for her to make sure that she's getting the information really well if she's reading it herself. So that is my plan for next year is that she will do volume four, but she will do it more of an independent reading style more than likely. Now, if she just really, really wants to keep it as a nighttime reading, I may tie it in with that some, like maybe I'll read some in the evening and then during the day she has a short reading or something that she would read. So um, that's my idea for next year. She loves it. She thinks the story characters are really, really good. She likes all the adventure. She likes the places that they're going. And that's another really great thing is that I love all the geography that's tied into it. So there are different times where we have talked about different places and different things that have tied into this. So I know she is grasping things from this read aloud, which is why it doesn't super concern me that we haven't really used this. So be open to being okay with that and knowing that it is likely they're going to get a whole lot of information from this that, and you really don't have to use this and that's okay. But this was a fun read aloud. We'll be doing level four. And so if you have any questions or comments, be sure and let me know. This has, uh, our Sassafras science has definitely progressed through our years because one, Volume one, we were really heavy into all of this. We did it all. I mean, literally, we did everything in volume one. And then we kind of got to the point where she just wasn't really doing this. And I kept trying and I kept trying and I kept trying. And so this year, pretty early on, I realized that this just really wasn't her thing. She didn't enjoy it. And so we saved hands on things for different subjects and then just read this and gathered a whole lot of insight into botany. So I'm gonna to try to wrap this up again. Leave me any comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.